Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. The BOA people have been bugging me for years. I hope you guys are happy. You're watching Snake Bites. It seems like every time I talk about boa constrictors, I'm holding this sun glow boa. That's because I just think it's an incredible animal, but I also didn't have a lot of boa mutations up until now. I just bought some really cool stuff. Let me show you what I've got. This is probably my favorite animal that I just recently acquired. This is actually a Sun Glow Arabesque Boa, which basically means it's got two codominant traits, which is the arabesque and the hypomelanism and the recessive trait of albino. And I tell you what, the orange color in this animal just makes it absolutely incredible. All right, guys, it's Cal's question of the week. Well, this question has to do with the legal drinking age. Now, here in the States, it's 21. It used to be 18. Over in Canada, it's 19. In the UK, it's 18. George, what do you think the perfect drinking age is? I have to say 18, because legally, you can go vote, you can sign up for the military, you can buy cigarettes, you can buy porn. Hell, you can do everything else. I can see that. I can't really throw out an age, because again, it comes down to the irresponsible a select few that ruin it for everybody. Text your video comment below. Let me know what you think perfect drinking age should be for it to be legal. This is a het berry blood boa, and while it doesn't look that impressive on its own, when you breed them together, you get blood boas because it's a recessive mutation, and blood boas happen to be one of my favorite mutations in the boa world. And you might ask yourself, why did I get all these boas? Well, I bought an entire collection of boas, and I'll probably weed it down to a handful of mutations that I really want to work with, because you guys know I'm not the best at breeding boa constrictors, but I'm going to give it a great try. This is a leopard boa constrictor, and ever since I saw the first one, I had to own it. I can't believe it took this long before I actually had one in my collection. This is a Sunset Hypo Hog Island boa, and what you basically have going on here is a double dose of Hypo boa and a single dose of Hog Island. And for whatever reason, once you get a second dose of Hypo in there, you can see all the incredible orange just coming out in its tail, and that's where they come up with the Sunset name. This is a T-positive albino Central American boa. I tell you what, when these first came on the market, they were $25,000 a piece. And I tell you, they're so beautiful, I could understand the price. They certainly have become very affordable now in an animal that almost anyone can own. And boa constrictors are a challenge for me because I don't breed them as well as I do with the ball pythons and other colubrids. But what's neat about them is they're live bearers. And I think if I put a little more energy into them, I'm going to have a lot of success. All right, guys, thanks for coming. Um, you guys know that the show is starting to get popular now, and whether you like it or not, you guys are kind of like role models to people. Especially, we have a lot of kids watching the show, and it's just kind of come to my attention that there's just way too much swearing in the show, and, and I really want to clean that up. And, and not just in the show, but even around here. It's just not professional how much you guys swear. So you guys have probably seen these before. This is a swear jar. Every time you guys swear, you're going to have to put 25 cents in here, and there's going to be no tolerance whatsoever. So just clean it up for me, okay, guys? So what do you, what do you think of the new policy, Kevin? Well, I don't necessarily agree with it. I mean, swearing helps me let out my frustration, but uh, I do have a daughter, so I guess I can kind of understand. So whatever. I'll, I'll live. Well, since I am the elder statesman of the shop and I follow the rules, it should be no problem. It's no challenge, truly challenge, you know. I'll handle it. No biggie. Dummy looking stupid. Oh f it. How smart is it? George! Pay up. No, I'm not paying up. This is America. We have freedom of speech. I don't have to pay. 875. 
dude, I can't afford this. I feel you, brother, I feel you. Which is why I came up with some safe words. Now these safe words can still express our anger, but we won't get in trouble for them. Things like, uh, cheese and rice, or, uh, you're a mother father, or this is the cheese, or even, uh, man, you are a sock hugger. You know, stuff like that. It all works, right? That way, get some of the frustration out, and we don't gotta pay no monies. I get this. Like, shut the front door. Ah! So how, how's it going so far, Brian? <sighs> Not good at all. I tell you, uh, we dumped this out twice already, and it's only noon. Obviously, this 25 cents not working, so I'm gonna go up to a dollar per swear word. You know, I, I gotta make it hurt worse, I guess. So, Chewy, what's uh, happening now? Oh, you're, you're not talking. Oh, uh, well, this might be a dumb question. Can, can you explain why? I spent all my bar money on a stupid swear jar. I can't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just not gonna talk. I found a loophole. This would be the BHB property line. On this side, I get in trouble for swearing. On this side, I can say whatever I want. For instance, fudge, fudge, chiz, chiz, but, 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 my sister, my sister, my sister. Regular words, I guess. Well, the first day's done, and I can't say that it was a resounding success. Between this jar and the jars I've emptied, I think I've got about 200 bucks. Now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that money. Have you guys seen those miniature giraffes? I think I might buy one of those. For this week's Comment of the Week, the question was, are celebrities' personal lives fair game for your entertainment? And Mouse1420 said, I think celebrities' lives are fair game because we make them famous. We are then ones that watch them in movies and stuff. So if they want to be famous, they better be able to get their lives watched. I think if they don't like it, don't try to become famous. This whole society is messed up. We make stupid laws for stupid people, haha. Yeah, I tell you what, I tend to agree with you. After all, they knew what they were getting into when they wanted to become celebrities. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show All About Boas. I want to give a shout out to a really cool friend of mine and a cool website, jmbboas.co.uk. You got to go check that out. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites.